hey, it's Sweetie V. I know that was weird. Girl, I don't know nothing about these videos. Hi, everybody. Ben, I know it's been a minute. I think it's been like a week. Uh, I guess we found out, you know, what happened with Trucker Red. Well, now Mr. P Mr. Pressure. Uh, kind of sad. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm 47. Back when I grew up in the city, D.C., you know, snitches never, <laughs> they never got to really <laughs> live, you know. Uh, now we got snitching, dry snitching, you know, all that type of stuff, calling people jobs, you know, trying to destroy people, man. Um, you know, we seeing situations with, don't, don't push people to the edge because you never know what their triggers are. Uh, it's too much going on. People need their jobs. Um, families need to be fed. We can't let this social media thing become more than it is. You know, it's it's not like that. You know, we really not like that. You know, we not the top of the top of YouTubers. You know, and the ones who think they are because they got 80 or 90 subscribers. What the hell is that? People got 15 million. And you talking about 80 subscribers and 1,000 people who watch your videos. And you think, uh, you know... I ain't gonna say his name, but he thinks he's the top of the top top. But you're not. You're at the bottom of the bottom of a whole big thing beyond this. But you don't see none of them calling people jobs and stuff like that. But, you know, I guess when they couldn't take the heat, you know, they couldn't take the heat of what he was saying, the pressure that he was bringing. They said, we're gonna try to destroy you, man. Can't destroy what was meant for him is meant for him. So, that's all I got to say about that. Nice to know that he's okay. You know, because at the end of the day, he has his CDL. And you can call my job. You can call my ex-husband. Uh, you can call my first love. Whoever you want to call. You can't take what God has planned for me. What about that? So, I think the lesson learned in all this is that always like i said have different streams of income that's my number one thing sweetie b talks some stuff but sweetie b got three plus streams of income coming in and i'm gonna always keep it that way always i'm actually looking into something else right now trying to open a, a, a storefront that's the plan i need a couple investors uh, I want to uh, open up a um, doggy wash shop, um, like where people go in, they bring their dogs, they can wash them, kind of like a car wash situation where they pretty much just come in, you pay a flat fee, I'm giving you a room with the soap and everything like that, you wash your dog, you dry your dog, now if you don't know how to do that, we'll have someone there who can wash your dog for you and do like that so i think i'm gonna open a couple of these in some major cities so that's my another option i have you know um because i love the animals so uh anybody interested let me know we could team up and we could start a franchise you know let's let's do that let's not call people jobs let's let's network to make some money can we do that hmm can we do that can we do that? I don't know. Sure. I'm throwing it out there. Um, last video, I was talking a little bit about, you know, a little romance and sweetness and stuff. Well, you know, Sweetie B, mm, and I like to get it in. <laughs> I like to enjoy myself. And like we was talking about, you know, when everything is nice and clean and fresh and we in that moment, you know, I'm, I'm, I consider myself really a, um, I think it's called like a pleaser. You know, I like to please my man. So I'm the type to go all out. You know, I'm, I'm on my knees. I'm, I'm at the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm up. I'm down. I'm, I'm turned around. You know, I'm, I'm everywhere I have to be. You know, I'm, 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 I'm aggressive with it, but then I'm submissive with it. You know, <laughs> and I just think, at the end, I'm going to take your hand. I'm going to tell you where I want your hand to be. I'm going to tell you how that feels. Like, I, I like it like this. No. Put your tongue like this. No. 
Move your tongue like that. Yeah. So, you know, me, you know, you can hold my head. You can tell me, you can, you know, push my head a certain way. You can, you know, do whatever you need to do. You know, let's explore them options with each other. Let's not just lay there and be still. Let's enjoy us. Let's enjoy our moment together. Let's enjoy our passionate, seductive, um, no limits, all levels. Mm, yeah, let's enjoy. That's all I want to say. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to talk some more. We're going to talk some more about some stuff. But that's it. Just enjoy yourself, man. It's just all about your pleasures and your happiness. And um, taking some more. Um, hey, y'all got me all fan fantasizing. Hold on. Get yourself together. Okay. I'm going to take some more um, endorsements. I'm looking into some trucking schools. We'll see. Um, I don't know how this corona going to play out. I called a couple places and they were saying some weird stuff. And I was like, I don't know. I'm trying to see once people start getting this vaccine in the next couple of weeks with things loosen up a little bit. So we'll see, you know. Um, but I'm doing good and uh, loving life. Uh, I was in Old Town, Alexandria this weekend. Uh, went over there to Virginia to watch the airplanes land. That was nice. I went to a little restaurant. Um, had something weird. It, it consists of a biscuit, a, a sweet potato biscuit. Listen to this, y'all. With a crab cake on it. With, uh, yeah, crab cake on it with, with a gravy. Sound weird, but it was the best thing ever. I'm going I'm to tell y'all about this place because I want y'all to check it out. If y'all ever in VA, check out this restaurant because it was really nice. It was reasonable and the food was delicious. Um, Yeah, had a little romantic weekend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, talk to y'all soon. Thank you.